Hello. I'm going to do the reading for this week. So this is Sunday the 13th to Oh boy, I can't see the date. But that's for it's for this week. <laughs> calendar is too far away. I can't see it. All right. So what messages do we have for this week? We have the three of pentacles, which is hard work, working hard on something. So this is going to be a week to focus on work, working hard, whether it's your relationship, your job, whatever it is. All right. Five of Swords, so there was some deceit and some deception. Something happened, but I feel like <clears throat> with hard work, that's something that you're going to overcome this week. You need to work on overcoming that and not letting that bother you. Yeah, moving on. Leaving that emotional baggage behind you. So if something happened and it really bothered you, and I can definitely attest to that. I had that happen. Um, you need to leave that emotional baggage behind you and you need to move on to a new path. Okay? You need to not let that affect you. You need to not let that focus. You need to not focus on those three spilt cups. Okay? Because there's two cups behind you. So you have to look at the good. Alright? You have to look at the good things that are coming in, the positive. And this situation was very draining. It was very tiring. It really got you down. But this week you're going to set out on a new path and you're not going to let that drag you down, okay? You're going to stop focusing on those three spill cups. You're going to stop focusing on the negative. You're going to stop... Okay, that was a big mess. Let me fix that. That was a whole huge stack, so I'm not going to, sorry. <clears throat> okay. So we're not going to focus on the negative this week. Even though that can be hard, I I tend to I tend to <clears throat> go to the negative, but I'm learning. I I've been training myself to not go to the negative. As soon as I go there, I just it might sound crazy, but for me this worked. Is if I start thinking of something negative. In my mind, I have that red circle with the line through it, and I just sort of put that stamp on that thought, which that may sound crazy to some of you, but it does help me. And I'm like, no, don't go there, and I put the stamp on that thought, and then I try to think of something else. And to be honest, it's helped, so I figure, hey, <laughs> if it helps, then <coughs> <coughs> why not? right? We, we each have our own things that work for us. Sometimes it works for other people too and sometimes it doesn't and that's okay because we have our own, we all have our own way of dealing with things. All right so we got the high priestess but she's upside down. So the high priestess <clears throat> is the high priestess in the upright is there's more to the matter than you know. But I feel like you know everything there is to know. That there isn't anything more to know. There isn't anything more to know that you found out all the information. You know what there is to know. And you know that you need to move on. Okay. It's also trusting your instincts this way. Um, so I would say... I always say trust your instincts no matter which way the card's facing. <laughs> um... But I feel like this message is just, there is no more to know. You just need to know that you need to move on. Um, 
Maybe you're questioning your instincts. Maybe that's why instead of trusting it, you're not trusting your instincts. You're not trusting your gut feeling. Maybe you're doubting yourself. Maybe you're doubting the fact that you have the power to move on from the situation, but don't be weak and fall into that. Be strong and move on if this is a situation that you need to move on from. I'm just going from my own experience, and I know that this is something that I need to move on from. Maybe this is, I've just been, while I was shuffling, shuffling I was thinking, um, <clears throat> maybe this is, maybe this means that maybe you already, you've always been, um, let's just say for example, like you've always been very giving, okay? That you've always been very giving and that's just your instinct is to be always very giving and always helping other people. But maybe this is saying is that maybe this is giving so much to others is not helping yourself. That it's draining you. That it's not helping you that maybe you need to focus on you, that maybe you need to put yourself first and put your needs first instead of always giving to other people because that's just too much emotionally on you because you're losing who you are. So this is just an example that I'm saying. I mean, it could relate to you, but I feel like maybe that's what that's saying is that not that giving is wrong and that you should stop doing that forever, but maybe you're just doing that too much. That maybe you need to take a time out from that and focus on yourself. I feel like with the work card coming out, I feel like it's definitely, it's working on your inner self. That's what I feel like this week, is working on your inner self. Working on finding your happy place, working on leaving emotional baggage that is negative for you behind, and to look at, maybe there's an offer that comes in this week that helps, you know, that's a positive one, and that you have to look at that. Or maybe it's just being positive. All right, King of Cups. It could be an offer from a King of Cups comes in this week. Um, <clears throat> the King of Cups is someone who's more go with the flow. Um, maybe it's being representative as more of go with the flow and stop stressing about things and stop, you know, dwelling. Oh, what is up with this? I don't know why... These three came over, so. Um, <clears throat> so maybe it's just more go with the flow this week. Just let things happen naturally. Stop trying to make things happen and stop stressing about things. Of course, that's a huge message for myself. <laughs> All right, so the three that, fa that turned over out of the stack that fell out, was the Prince of Cups, so an emotional offer coming in. So that's what I was saying, is that Two of Cups, you know, that's an offer. 
and this is an offer and it could be from a king of cups so it could be from a water sign which is cancer scorpio or pisces all right and then we have two of pentacles which is balancing which i feel like working on this would will make you feel more balanced um, we also have the infinity sign which is individual empowerment and everlasting love <clears throat> and eternity and then we have the wheel all right so the wheel is things are changing things are turning it's the destiny card okay it brings positive change of fortune there's a new cycle and to make the most of the cycle because things always change so maybe this is the week that you start a new cycle the cycle of maybe focusing a little more on yourself and your own mental health and your own positivity. Maybe there's an offer that comes in. Maybe you've been single and an offer comes in this week and somebody, you know, comes into your life <clears throat> and asks you out. <laughs> I wish that would happen for me. All right. I definitely feel like it's it's going to be a good work, good 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 week that you can work on things. Okay, that you can leave this 9 of swords, that you can move me, leave this stress. I really don't know why cards are I don't know what I'm doing today. That you can leave, maybe the week starts off that you're, you know, stressed because there is this situation that happened. And like I said, maybe you are dwelling on that. <clears throat> but I feel that by the end of the week, you're able to realize that and you're able to move on. It's exhausting, though. It, it is exhausting. It's emotionally exhausting. But I feel like with this offer here, I just, I feel like it's an offer for brightness. It's an offer for happiness. It's an offer for positivity. We have the chariot. So the chariot is triumph, self-discipline, focus, perseverance, could be travel, an inner conflict, conflict that needs to be controlled to achieve success scattered energy will not bring success and then we have the dark horse and the light horse so that's individual like having your mind go back and forth should I shouldn't I should I shouldn't I and I feel like that definitely goes with the theme is that you need to get this the emotions under control that you need to not let things run away that you need to get get this under control it's been a heavy burden on your back but you're almost there tens are completions all right he's traveling the steps up to the castle he still has a few more to go but he's been carrying all these wands and it's been exhausting but he's getting to the end of his journey okay all right let's see if there's one more card and then we'll pick a numerology card Okay, so let's focus and see if there's one more card that wants to come out. <laughs> Look at that. The wish card. What better card to come out as our last card of... All right. The wish card. Positivity. All right. Emotional and mental material fulfillment. The wish, wish card. Okay. What is your wish? 
What is it that you want? All right. I'm just going to sort of leave it at that. And whatever the, the first thing is that came to your mind, then that's what relates to that. That's what I feel. All right, so let's do a numerology card. Ha, huh? perfect. Number 66, healing. What better card could there be, all right? Healing. That's what I feel like this week is about, is, is emotional, working on yourself emotionally and healing and moving on from a, from a bad situation and stress and finding more balance and finding happiness and focusing on yourself and things are changing, okay? Possibly an offer coming in. Stop that in, inner battle between your mind and the wish card. So I'll just read a little bit. <clears throat> like I said, I'm still working on the numerology card. So 66, but... Um, so this card indicates a time to focus on your healing abilities and being of service to others. Encouraged to expand your understanding of the healing arts in many different ways to heal. So it could be helping healing others, but I feel like in regards to this reading, I feel like it's healing yourself. Um, I think that pretty much says it all. It's just healing. Healing yourself this week. And finding happiness. And finding more balance. It's going to take some work, but it's definitely going to be work it, worth it. All right. Great reading, I think. Definitely what I needed to hear. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.